one more way to share our data would be to share data from child to parent component. To use this type of sharing, we are using combination of output decorator and event emitter. Output is just another Angular decorator, but it is opposite from input. It will make sure to share our data to the upper level, like child component to parent component. To share data in such a way, we are also using event emitter from Angular. As we are sharing data from child to parent components, we will make sure to run event and submit data upon that. In this way, we are creating sort of custom event and we are directly handling its result. In my last video, we worked with input decorator and I will still keep it through entirety of this video. To use the output decorator, I will first go to top bar component HTML. To this component, I will add a button, which will be the type of a button and the text for this button will be submit. Also, this button should hold click event listener. So here I will pass event, which will be the click event, and I will set it to be equal to method called submit data. As we don't have this method for now, let's create this one. So I will copy my submit data and go into top bar component that typescript file. After my ng on init, I will paste this submit data and I can do something on this. So this will be the setup for our output. Now we can use our output. After my input here, I will use output and that output also as the input should be imported from angular slash core and I must initialize it. So I will run it here and I must give it some name. I will give a name of data event here and I will give it the type of event emitter and this here should be also imported from the uh, angular slash core and this will create the custom type for me. Event emitter can hold some data. So here I should uh, make the generic type of that data. I will make a string generic type here and at the end I will run my event emitter and to make sure that this doesn't have any errors, instead of passing the type here, I will set it equal to the new event emitter uh, type of a string and we will initialize that one. So now, once I click on my submit button, I wish to do something. I wish to emit my data. So to use this output and emit data to the upper level, to my app component, I will use this dot data event. Then on that, I will uh, be able to use, well, a uh, few methods. One method that I'm searching for is this emit method, as this emit will emit some data to our event emitter. So now here, the data that I will emit must be a string, as I set the type of that to be a string, and I will pass here just my channel name, which is Omerco. Now, creating this, well, we are not still finished and we didn't properly share our data from our top bar to our app component. But for that, I will go into my app component and after my user input here, I will use the event. Event here that I will use is the custom event that we created. If I would go to top bar, the name of our event is data event. So I will use that event right here. I will also set it equal to something. This something should be the method on my app level. So here I should pass, for example, get data and I will get that data as the event here. So dollar sign event. Now let's create this get data on our app component. So get data below my engine in it. I will use this get data, which will give me some data back. That event is the data. We already know that my data is Omerco, my channel name, which is type of a string. And here I could do something with my data. So for example, I could create the property here of channel name and I will set this equal to an empty string. Now, once I get this data, I will do this dust channel name will be equal to whatever data that I emitted from my top bar. 
to show this data on my app component, I will go below my app top bar in my app component.html and create h3 and bind it to my channel name that I have on my TypeScript. Now to check this, obviously we don't have that channel name on this left side of my app component. But if I click on submit, we will be able to see that basically this kind of red uh, section for us is our top bar component and on that component we are holding this data and upon a clicking of this submit button we are emitting that data, we are saving that data to our custom event. Our custom event is then used in our app component and once that event is triggered, once that data emitted successfully, then we will get that same data into our parent component, which is our app component in this example. That's why we see this Omerco on our screen. Well, with output decorator, we are also finished with sharing data in Angular. You saw services, input and output decorators in action, and it is up to you which to use when. At this point, we can also start working with some real data. So in my next video, we will go through HTTP module and run some HTTP calls. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.